One thing I'd like to talk to you about is sharing documents. This is something you sh you're going to have to do for homework, so this is pretty important. So say there's a document you want to share, like this fantastic document here that we've been working on. Well, the way you would share that is you'd click on it, check it, then you can click this button that says share, and that brings you in here. This gives you a link. You can send this link to someone, and only someone that has been listed as a collaborator can access it. So the way someone becomes a collaborator, you enter their name or email address here. This is kind of the names and groups is dependent upon them being in your contacts in Google. Otherwise, email addresses work just fine. To share this with me, you would go ahead and enter my email address, which I've conveniently put in the clipboard and pasted it in here because it's nigh impossible for me to type and talk at the same time. Once this is added, you can change this to can edit, can comment, can view. Now edit is no different than the way you would interact with your own document. Comment means I would be able to place comments on the document, and view means I can pretty much just look at it. Um, Typically it's best to do can view unless you want to work on something with people in a collaborative way. We're actually going to talk about that more next week. For now, just understand that if you create a document and share it with someone and you can both edit it, then it works really well for collaborative work. Um, I've done this a lot with documents that I've been working on with uh, other classmates or professors. Um, with spreadsheets, it's work, it works really well to help keep track of household finances. Uh, that way my wife and I can both see, oh, you know, somebody, namely me, has been spending too much money and I need to stop, or something to that effect. So for now, we'll leave it on can comment and click share and save and it may cause an issue because I'm already have access to it. Um, it didn't cause an issue but it didn't make any changes. The other thing I'd like to talk about is access. Their default is private so only these people like the people you invite can access it um, and typically they can only see it if you give them the link. If we click on change we're given these other options. Now public on the web that means that anybody anywhere with an internet access can find it and access it no sign in required. This is great if you've written something up and you want to share it with the world. Anyone with the link, this is anyone with that link on the previous page can access it. They don't have to sign into Google Docs or nothing. It's, it's open for everyone. Dolphin Pod at CSU Channel Islands, that's anybody at Dolphin Pod can find and access it. People at Dolphin Pod with the link, that means you have to provide that link for them. It is not public. The difference between those two is with this one, if you have access to Dolphin Pod and you search, you might be able to come up with a document. This one, no matter how hard you look, if you don't have that link, you won't be able to get to the document. And you can click on this link, learn more about visibility to figure more out about that. Um, for now, let's leave it on private, and so that's generally the best unless you have some reason to make the document public. So go ahead and click on save. We're going to click on done. And just as a reminder, remember that you can click here to find upload settings and the other settings uh, for Google Drive or Google Docs or Dolphin Pod. It's all three names apply. And remember, keyboard shortcuts are your friend. And this is where to find the sort of cheat sheet for that. I've also included a link to this in Blackboard.